Welcome back. Joining us via Skype from Los Angeles is Marissa Hamamota, the founder, artistic director, and CEO of Infinite Flow, an inclusive dance company. Marissa is a stroke survivor and inclusion keynote speaker. She has been featured on national media outlets around the country and performed at Apple's Steve Jobs Theater. In addition, Infinite Flow's dance videos have been viewed by 50 million people. We are grateful to have you on this show today, Marissa. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here. So we have a lot to talk about. Let's begin with, you, with your story. Tell us about your story a little bit for our viewers. Sure. So I've been a dancer my whole life, but during college, I had a stroke in the spinal cord that paralyzed me from the neck down. Mm. And um, I'm actually back standing and standing and dancing now, but being a, a stroke survivor led me to creating infinite flow and advocating for disability rights. Mm. Wow. I mean, that's incredible. What is what is Infinite Flow's vision? Where do you see it going and, and what do you hope for it? So Infinite Flow's mission is to make dance accessible to all and to use dance to inspire inclusivity. And my vision is creating a world where people accept each other's differences and people with disabilities are not stigmatized and are have equal access to daily life. Mm. So when, when did you start Infinite Flow? I started Infinite Flow in 2015. Okay. And at that time, I was a kind of a struggling dancer in Hollywood, to kind of sum it up. I was in the middle of just auditioning for a lot of different things, not really landing any roles. And I started to ask myself, there's got to be more to dance than this. I, I finally have achieved my, my dream to dance professionally, but where am I really headed here? And that was when I accidentally discovered wheelchair dancing and saw how underdeveloped it was. I also learned that one in five people have a disability, yet you rarely see dancers with disabilities right. in dance class or anywhere. And some, somehow that, led, that made me go, you know what? It must be my destiny to do something about this. Mm. Wow, that is incredible. <laughs> yes. What is your plan to bring Infinite Flow to schools and to children, you know, globally? Yeah, so we have performed over 100 times. And out of the 100 times, one of the places that we absolutely love performing at is school assemblies. But even though over, over 30 schools have actually contacted me requesting school assemblies, but only three have been able to afford them. And I, it, it just broke my heart to continually decline these, these emails. And I said, you know what, that's it. I'm gonna make it a goal to get 100 school assemblies sponsored for the 2019-2020 school year. So we're kind of at the very beginning of that whole campaign, but next Monday, we will be going into two schools uh, to Put on school assemblies and shoot some video and i truly believe that educating the next generation about celebrating difference creatively collaborating with each other and embracing um, resilience um, is the way to go for this next generation so i'm really really excited to dive in into this project why um, is inclusion now more important than ever before um you know america is a melting pot. And I also feel like just in general, um, I, I feel like politically we've been very divided. And um, it's we're kind of living in a time in which I feel like we this country is polarized in many, many, many different ways. And um, but yet, I still believe that at the core, we are all, all human beings, that we all have, we all share the common wants and needs and emotions and desires, and we can still connect even if we don't believe in the same things, uh, whether it's politically or religiously or um, even just daily life. Um, do you like peanut butter or do you like celery? You know, like I, I think that there's a way to find commonality between each other 
And I truly believe that human beings are creatures that were meant to collaborate creatively with each other. So that's another well, well, well said, Marissa. Well I'm a peanut butter lover fan. <laughs> I know you were so wondering. I. And I, uh, we're, <laughs> yeah. So we're teaming, we're up, teaming here. up here. Uh, before we let you go, where can people find more about Infinite Flow? Sure. So you can find us at infiniteflowdance.org or follow us on Instagram and Facebook at infiniteflowdance. And yes, we would love to, we would love to really put on 100 school, 100 sponsored School assemblies for the school year. And if you are a school that would love to have us, please do contact us as well. Oh, beautiful. All right. Thank you, Marissa, for being on the show. We appreciate it. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Still to come, we have a top tailor to stars and professional athletes. We will be chatting with renowned designer Victor Moen about some of the latest trends in men's fashion.